Ah, oh, just got that done. Hmm. Hey, Xenomorph. Hey. What's wrong? I... I review. Can I get it, please? Well, sure. Oh, Ron won. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you guys probably saw the title and the intro. <sighs> We're reviewing the Xenomorph. Let's freaking go. Okay, so, a couple things I need to warn you about. I did not do this. Not do this. It just came like that, and I had to get it for five bucks. Worth it for a Xenomorph. Alrighty. On with the review. Alrighty. Articulation. The ball joint right here. Hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge ball joint, hinge joint. And toe movement and foot movement. Same with the other side. The tail's on a bendy wire. And coolest thing about this figure the tongue could come out with the jaw opening and closing. Head can articulate too, but barely. Okay, so the accessory that's in the thumbnail. This ain't even the accessory. I got this from the Lenard Xenomorph. If you're looking for this, I'd recommend either online or Walmart for 10 bucks if you want to get the figure too. Not the NECA one, but the Lenard one. Speaking of, let me get a couple figures for comparison. Groot is in the back. Same with Deadpool. Garfair's second largest. Xenomorph is the largest figure out of these. Now, if you understand this, the movie that I'm making will be coming out in a couple weeks because I'm not making the trailer. And these folders right here, Little old Jack and Magwell for a story that I'm writing. That's kind of cool effect. I like that effect. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the NECA Xenomorph. He's going to keep falling if I don't find him a base. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the movie, and bye-bye.